I know it's been a while since you've seen us here. We're still kicking. I'm dying. It's okay. Between the rain and my kidneys and my back. You got a lot of issues. And my, um, my puppy. And uh, what else can we add into that work? Sleeping on the dog bed last night. Oh, good thing we got that new bed. Let me explain. <laughs> Flash does not want to sleep in my room for ever, whatever reason, so I've been sleeping with him in the living room. Now you know we have the two sofas. He had been sleeping on the one that's pulled out right now, but that one is a piece of crap and even he knows it. He's like, this is like a hard rock. It's no good for me. I want the other sofa. I want the blue one. So last night he lasted all of five minutes, maybe ten. He started barking after five. I gave up and went in the living room after ten. And I put him on the pullout sofa and he said no. And he got down and he started barking at me on the other sofa. So I got fed up and I put him back on the pullout sofa and he said, oh hell no. I think he wanted to be on the same one as you. No, he didn't. No. Oh. No. He likes to sleep backward facing on the blue one now. So I put him on the blue one and I was like, fine. So I got the new dog bed that they haven't really used much and I turned it upside down so that I wouldn't sleep on the same side as them. What, do you think they're, you're better than them? No, I just didn't want to like get hair all over me. <laughs> so then I put a blanket on top of that and then slept on that. But that's like sleeping on a child's, like it's like sleeping on a crib because my it, it like gave out after my knees. Yeah. So my legs were like hanging off. It was not pretty. Then Lucy decided that she was going to get up and come in the living room around 4 or 5 o'clock and said, Ma, can I get in bed with you? So she got in and I was like, okay, she'll cuddle up with me. But even even she was just like, not enough room. I, I can't fit on the comfy part. I'm getting off. And then she squeezed in with Flash. And then he was like, get off. So then she went back to uh, my room. What a freaking mess. I'm telling you, it's a real mess. I got myself into a real mess. And I don't know when it's going to get any better. I just want to sleep in my own bed. For a full night. For any amount of time. More than 10 minutes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you know what the most annoying thing is? What? When you break a nail and you're nowhere near a nail clipper and you have to like rip it off. Ugh. Rip. You think I would have learned having a child who is a musician and working at a music studio for like 15 years, you think I would carry around a pair of nail clippers, but no, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. I know, right? You know, I always made Kristen carry around the nail clippers when she was younger mm -hmm. and I could tell her what to do. <laughs> And I never did it myself. How silly. I know. Because the worst thing for a pianist to do is pull one of those little cuticle nail, um, hang nail things. Ugh. That is so painful to have to, uh, play with that. Yeah, it really sucks for any, um, <laughs> any string instrument too. Any string, well, yeah, but I mean, all I knew was pianists, so, um, that was like the number one rule. It's always like, you better have nail clippers with you. <laughs> because you never pull those. Yeah. So what'd she do the other day? She pulled Yeah. Oh, she was in so much pain. I felt, I felt so bad, but I, you broke the rule. That's what happened to me like two weeks ago too, when I pulled one and then I was playing my uke. Oh, and dumb. It hurt. <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. Okay. <laughs> it's baby's day out. Yay! We're not playing any stringed instruments today. Well, I am later. Oh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not. And I never will. Sorry. I uh, don't Because those days are over for you. Those days are over for me. I did play string bass at one point in my life, but I haven't played in many, many, many years. So, I probably don't even remember how. Probably not. Do you remember how to play the flute? 
kind of. <laughs> yeah, um, but I actually have a flute, so there's no excuse that I haven't played it. But play, why, play, why did play. I get in this stupid lane? I don't know. Now I'm freaking stuck here, and there's a million trucks coming. Uh, bye. I'm making lots of mistakes today. I have a book <laughs> that I want to get your opinion on. Okay. <laughs> Please don't go before oh. I get better. It's poems. Yes. Let's read one. Okay. I need to find a short one. Are there any short ones? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just asked the big one. Um, that was a short one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's not a poem, you. it's a drawing. Oh. That's one of those bags. Oh. <laughs> um, these are longer than... Than you thought? The, yeah, than the other ones. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Sleep Talk. This uh. is by Madison Coon. Okay, so another Maddie. It is. Well, maybe she doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep falling asleep to your voice till the world stops existing. I wish I could dissolve up out of my body and take a photo from above me lying here, arms outstretched and duvet covering most of me except for a few strands of hair peeking out because then you could see how tired I am. I am so tired. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You read that like the girl who did the... I know. <laughs> I want you flat on your back. <laughs> Paper lamp. Yeah. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, good reading. Thanks. I know how to read. <laughs> good. You learned something in school. So we asked the other day on the Mad Rose D channel yeah. um, if Maddie was on Big Brother, what doll would she be in the puppet show? We and found her. This could totally be Maddie. That would be Coraline. <laughs> or Madeline from oh, yeah. Madeline. Yeah. From the kids' books. Right. But I could totally be Coraline. Yeah, for sure. Such a great movie. Leica. Damn, such a that is such company. a likeness to this you. It's a nice doll. It is a nice doll. There's so much cool stuff. This yeah. is like the Stranger Things Harry Potter section. How much do you want a fuggler? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> Look, they were sorting that. I know. I can't bend down right now in this dress. <laughs> <laughs> So we went to Michael's and Target and um, the pet store and just got some dry food for them. But um, at Target, I got another SodaStream canister Yay. so we can have SodaStream now. Excellent. Because mine were out. Yes. But at Michael's, we got something special. All right. Well, first of all, I needed some stitch markers. So mm -hmm. it's kind of boring, but yeah. necessary. And then... I wanted to get another one of this uh, yarn because I'm making a shawl and I think I'm going to need more than one of these. You're like a, a crochet machine. I just really love it. It's, it's relaxing, <laughs> it's huh? It's really relaxing and you get to make stuff. I love creating things. Yes. Especially with my hands. Okay. You're a little artlet. <laughs> okay. uh, this was on sale. I really wanted to try the Karen cakes because mm -hmm. I've heard good things about them. Yeah. These are some nice fall colors. Yeah, they are. So hopefully I'm not going to be... I know you love that mustard yellow. Yeah, hopefully I'm going to be able to figure out how to gauge this correctly so it changes colors at the right time. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to make with this yet. Maybe another shawl, Pretty. maybe a scarf. We'll see. And then mom... I'm so excited for that! This little chunky cupcakes one. I'm going to make her a hat with this. Yeah, I'm not going to do it because I suck at that that's type stuff. <laughs> I love it. But thank so. you for making me one. I love Hopefully this. Hopefully it's going to turn out nice. Right, I... Mimi? Ah! Oh! <laughs> she said, I want a sweater. I'm going to make a sweater for her. I have cool stuff too, but I can't... I can't... Oh, okay. Hold on. Because <laughs> I have only one hand. Yeah. Man, I'm going to make you a sweater soon. Okay. Puppy. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a purple skull. That we was only it. three bucks. Yeah, this is thick glass. Yes, it is. You can put a candle in there. Yeah, you could. That would be cool. Very nice. We have nice. a skull candle that we light up every year. We've every had Halloween. it for over 30 years. Crazy. It's like <laughs> the blue flame candle on Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Man! This is so cool. I wanted to get a beaker too, but you know, I gotta rein it in a little bit. I would love to use this for like flowers. Yeah, it would be That'd pretty. Be cool. I am getting a new refrigerator in a few weeks. 
What are you using this for? Drinking? I haven't figured it out yet. It would be cool with a straw in it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was marketed as glass, drink you know, wear. drinkware. Yeah. So, or like, um, if you're having a party, like for the bar. Yeah. Not that where you are, Hi. but. <laughs> Hi, Minnie. Poppy. Hi, Minnie. We should change her name to Her Minnie. Yeah. Her Minnie. Her Minnie. Papa, you Good beautiful boy. baby. I want to be oh. in the sweater too, but I think he would overheat. He would He would be too hot. Yeah. But she Good would definitely let, appreciate it. Minnie, is that true? Oh, I'm on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're both laughing. Yep. They said, we're going to watch the Westworld finale. Yay. <laughs> and then Game of Thrones. That's right. We're starting today. We're also going to watch what Derek Huff ate today. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> We're back on the Basmati train. All right. And we've got a throw together instant pot uh, over here. For the instant eviction. No, it's not That's right. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, the, I used that Vegeta that we oh. bought at the farm store yeah. for the first time. Is that like that? a um, bouillon? Bouillon, right. Yeah. Seems to be pretty nice. The spicy that you're tasting is the harissa. <laughs> Dad hates harissa. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good for you. you don't have an um, I think we do have an lemon. Lemon. <laughs> you got wavy hair. Flaton. Flaton. Oh yeah, you're right. We got little chickens in there too. Gardein. Not too many. I just made a few. What? It looks like more than a few. Uh, I usually make more than that. Really? Mm-hmm. Because I'm cleaning out the fridge and the freezer to prepare. Because we're going to be painting and everything. The kitchen will be complete. Finally. <laughs> I really want to make a no big cheesecake this week. Kitchen. This week or next week for the I can't finale. wait that long. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Been wanting it for months. All right, enjoy your food. You too. Hey guys. Ah. So we just finished uh, our Big Brother chat video. So that's out of the way. Now we get to relax for a bit. It's already ten o'clock, but we are starting. Game of Thrones tonight. I'm very, very excited. Mom and I watched the very first scene earlier, but then we were like, wait, we should see if Dad wants to watch this. And we said, okay. And he said, yes, it's dirty, count me in. <laughs> Not say that. <laughs> Here's the thing. I've read the book, so I know a lot of what's coming. Um, and I'm prepared for it. But they don't know what's going to happen. And... I don't know if this is a show that you should really watch with your parents, but how bad can it be? <laughs> it can be bad, okay? Um, it's not like Triple X. It's probably softcore. The B porn in and HBO both. is bad. Probably softcore porn and the most. I don't really want to watch that I with you guys, <laughs> or like at all. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, so we're gonna try it. If it's too much for them, I'm gonna watch it by myself, and then not enough. <laughs> you can watch whatever you want. <laughs> so yeah, I also wanted to mention I finished Westworld today. It was so freaking good. I could not stop thinking about it. I want to make mom and dad watch that too. Um, yeah. It was wild and so confusing, but so good. I started kind of like figuring it out a bit more. And it's just like, holy crap, that show is a real, it's a real journey. Um, I've never seen The Matrix. I know. But anyway, we're also just watching the Yankees and they're winning. Yay! Yay! Yeah. All right, so let's uh, GOT it up. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know if you're a big Game of Thrones or Westworld fan in the comments. 
and we'll see you tomorrow. And until then, much love.